What are you doing? I'm running away. What are you, nine? I don't care. Shame has crossed a line. Right, and running away is going to make a difference. Well, I'm not just going to stand around here and let him rub my nose in it. He's not going to rub your nose in it. He knows he's crossed the line. Right now, he's probably just looking for the perfect opportunity to apologise to you. We are the champions, my friend. Or not. It's been nice knowing you, Brett. Mr. De Silva, what are you doing here? Oh, I just wanted to come around and check how things are going. Uh, I don't remember getting a notice that you were doing an inspection today. Oh, no, no, I didn't send any. Don't worry, it's not an inspection. I want to talk to you boys about something. Can I come in? Um, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, what's this all about? I was wondering if you can help me. I might have lost something valuable. Valuable? Yes, it's a handbag. A handbag? Yeah, a brown bag with a gold clasp. Have you seen it? Uh, uh, no, no. What are you talking about? We found a handbag under the house after you boys first moved in. No, that must be something else, Kate. No, remember? You were talking about money and a ring. Money and a ring? That sounds like the bag I'm looking for. Oh, no. Sorry. Now I remember. Seamus is right. Um, that was a different conversation. A different conversation? Yes. Um, money and a ring. Um, we were just talking about something else. If you were not talking about money and ring, how could you not be talking about my bag? That's a good question. Um, I think Kate was talking about money in a ring um, because when... Uh... An engagement ring! What? What? Um, see, Seamus was buying me an engagement ring, so that's why he was talking about money in a ring. Is that right? Absolutely! We're getting married, aren't we, hon? Yeah. <laughs> We're getting married. Um, that's why Kate was talking about money in a ring. Oh, honey, really? I'm so excited! Oh, I'm so happy for you two guys! Oh. Okay, this has gone long enough. I know you kids have got my bag. None of you are leaving the room till I get it back. Now this is going to change the game forever. Oh my god, so you're the drug dealer. Drug dealer? What drug dealer? Is that what this is all about? The money found under the house? The trashing of the place when we weren't even here? Not to mention your little stash of cocaine hidden in the kitchen, huh? Cocaine? What cocaine? I didn't have any cocaine. Well, there's a bunch of it stashed in the kitchen. It didn't belong to me. Didn't belong to me. Oh, it definitely didn't belong to me. It was yours? Well, yes, but I had a very good reason for having it. I like cocaine. Well, that's it. Hand me over the bag, or else. Or else what? You're going to start killing hostages every hour? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Damn it, Josh. Tell you what, I'll let you choose whom I kill first. Look, guys, I think this is a pretty easy decision. You should kill Josh first. What? Me? Well, and you can't expect it to be Kate or I, whatever happened to chivalry. Hey, it's women and children first and you know it! Guys, there's only one way to decide who goes first. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a lizard by the toe. If he... For God's sake, choose who I kill first. Do you want this done right, or the fast way, or the right way? That's it. <laughs> you girls, you stay here. Boys, go outside in any of the bedrooms. If you don't tell me where the bag is, in one hour time, she will die! <gasps> and if you don't tell me the next hour, she will die! And if you go to the police or try to run away, they will both die! Oh. How are you? So guys, any ideas how to pass the time? What are you doing? Passing time. Passing the time? Seamus, he's about to shoot Kate and... 
Hang on a minute, you want him to shoot Kate, don't you? <laughs> no, no, no. Look, I just think we should allow the situation to run its natural course. Its natural course? Seamus, the girls are out there and probably scared witless. Where did all this pent-up rage come from? Well, I guess ever since I was a child, growing up in Sri Lanka with eight brothers and sisters, and my parents, you know, they didn't have much time for me. And how did this make you feel? Well, angry, I guess I was very angry. And my parents, you know, especially my father, he was so fond of my elder brother Kumar because he was very smart and becoming a doctor. And Arjuna, my younger brother, was excellent in playing cricket. In Sri Lanka, if you want to be somebody, you got to be either a good cricket player or you got to be a good doctor. There was nothing else left for me. So you started playing up? I guess so. Uh, I thought if I can't get the attention of my parents by right means, I better start acting up. That was the beginning of my criminal career. Everything stems from there. Mr. Silva, I think we've made some really important progress today. You think so? Yes, and I hope it's okay for me to say this, but I really do hope we can be friends. I'm still going to kill you in half an hour. Just because someone's going to kill you doesn't mean you can't be friends with them. I'm pretty sure it does. No, you see, Mr. De Silva, that's just it. You're focusing on our differences too much. It's what we have in common that counts. And what do we have in common? Well, I'm a woman. You don't have that in common. Okay, Mr. De Silva, I think we're taking a little step backwards here. Um, let's role play this. Jane, will you join us in here for a moment, please? I'm already in the room, Kate. Yes. Yes, you are. Hey, you know I went down to the police station to collect the money? It was that Constable Williams chick from last year. Constable Williams was the police officer who processed Seamus's charges. Drunk and disorderly, I believe, was amongst them. I was not drunk and disorderly, thank you very much. I just wanted to hitch a ride. Seamus, traditionally when people hitchhike, they indicate the direction they wish to travel using their thumb. We got a ride, didn't we? Okay, Mr. De Silva. Don't be shy. Just give into the moment. I'm the goddess Vin. I'm whimsical. I cannot be contained. I am free. I am the goddess Fire. Allow me to cleanse you. Surely it's been an hour. I said no. Oh, but Mr. De Silver, it's so good for you. I don't care if I have a combination skin. Is she always like that? Pretty much. Well, no more holding her hostage. You can put up with her. You're changing the rules again? Mr. De Silva, no offense, but this is the worst hostage situation I have ever seen. Enough. Hand me over the bag or all of you die. Oh, Mr. De Silva, I think deep down you really don't want to kill anyone. Actually, right now, I could definitely kill someone. Look, maybe there's a way we can split the money. Maybe in an exchange for the share, we won't go to the police. For God's sake, it's not the money I'm after. I want the ring. The ring is... Is that, is that what this is about? The ring? Yes, the ring. Fine, you can have it. I mean, <laughs> here it is. Hang on a second. What's so good about this ring? Give it to me and I'll show you. Come with me. The ring you found was the third part of the custom-made locking mechanism on the urinal. Only when all the three crystals are in place will the door unlock. As I was trying to tell you earlier, I'm not a drug dealer. I deal with black market art and sports memorabilia, which I hide here till the media exposure dies, and then I sell it in the black market. In this case, I got the grand final jumper of Joel Selwood. I thought they found that jumper. <laughs> That's what he reckons. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you trying to tell me that all this time, the urinal was being used as a hiding place for stolen artwork and sports memorabilia? 
That has got to be the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Why wouldn't you just use a normal key? And why would you hide the key under the house in a bag full of money? And why would you hide stolen artwork and sports memorabilia behind a urinal in the first place? Look guys, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical answer to all your questions. But since I'm going to kill you all, after I've disposed of the shipment, I'm not going to waste my breath explaining it all to you. Oh, come on! Oh, I have taken my decision. Back to your bedroom. <sighs> and then Mr. Silver Frog marched us in here. And then what happened? And then you got us to start telling you this stupid story, which I might add, you were already present for most of it. Now, if you don't mind, guys, we need to find a way to get out of here. Okay, everybody look around and see if you can find something that we might use as a weapon. Mike, what, Jane? I don't know, Seamus. It's your room, like a knife or a cricket bat. How about Shut a gun? Ah, oh, yeah, Brett, where do you suppose we find one of those, huh? Um, how about this one right here? <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Where did you get that? Oh, this. I uh, took it from um, Mr. De Silva before when he wasn't paying attention. And you're telling us this now? Yeah, well, you get mad at me every time I steal things. So. Remind me to kill you when this is all over. Alright. Let's go. Congratulations, everyone. We've been after this fella for months. Thanks to your efforts, we've managed to break up an international art smuggling ring. Yes, I would have gone away with this one too, if it weren't for you meddling kids! And don't forget our nosy dog. So, now that this is all over, are you two going to be friends again? No, no, I'm still running away. Come on, guys, surely now you can put all of this behind you and just be friends. Hmm? I think I know how they can be friends. Box. <coughs> he said box. <coughs> now you said box. <laughs> we all said box. Oh, come here, you. I can't stay mad at you. <coughs> oh, this is so nice. Everything's back the way it should be. Well, we better start planning. Planning for what? Our wedding, silly. Remember? We're getting married. But that was... Just... Oh, I'm so excited. Mwah! Come on, Jamie, we've got to start planning. What should I do for my wedding dress? I was supposed to dump her. That's right. And now I'm marrying her. I think we need a beer to celebrate. You know what it reminds me of? It's kind of like one of those TV shows where they try to sneak in a new story thread for the following year. Josh, life is not like a TV show. If it were, then everything would just wind up nicely with something lame about you getting even with Seamus. Jeez. <laughs>